Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to look at Rajon Rondo's incredible game in Thursday's win. This is such an incredible play design for the Clippers, and really an incredible read by Rondo as a passer. It starts with Reggie Jackson setting a cross screen against Jay Crowder to free up Kawhi Leonard down to the low post on the other side, and Patrick Patterson is going to set a down screen for Jackson to come up and get the ball. Jackson reads that he's being pushed away from the screen, draws the helping big, passes to Patrick Patterson who fumbles the ball but also passes it to Rondo. Rondo reads that campaign is not paying attention to the passing lane, hits Patterson on the roll for the foul. This was another nice play design. It's actually gonna begin with Kawhi Leonard setting a little pin down for Rondo to come up and get the ball. The Clippers begin several sets like this, but however, the one key component here is Rondo's ability to get downhill into the lane. He doesn't really look to score when he does it, but he's a great passer out of it. As Rondo drives against Booker, we see that Sarge is the low man on this drive, which means Patrick Patterson is gonna be open and Rondo finds him with a great read, a great pass and a dunk. Process matters a lot more than results sometimes, and this is a process play for the Clippers. Rondo's gonna get the ball, Patterson comes up to set a screen, Booker goes under it. This is an open shot for Rondo. Yes, he misses the shot, but this is a good shot. This is the shot that Rondo should be taking, pretty much anyone on the Clippers should be taking when given the possibility. Offensive rebound, Rondo goes to drive. Low man is Cam Johnson, but he's gonna stay attached to Batum. However, Rondo finds the ball to Batum, and Batum gets a solid look from three. He misses, but these are the looks that Rondo can generate for himself and others. There's a little bit of shot luck on this play, but it's an incredible read by Rondo, and that's what ultimately matters more than anything on this. We're going to end up noticing that Cam Johnson is the low man on the weak side corner guarding Nicholas Batum. Batum's going to read that Johnson really kind of isn't paying attention fully, cuts down the baseline. Johnson comes over to help, bumps into Batum. Batum's going to corral the lob, which is a perfect lob by Rondo, come out the other side unscathed and unimpeded for a short little mid-range jumper that he knocks down. Pushing the tempo to get good shots is another thing Rondo does. Here, Patterson into the trailer. Three-point shooter trailer is a dangerous thing for opposing teams. Rondo gives it to him, sets a little butt screen to give Patterson some space. Patterson misses this, but Rondo doesn't quit. Digs down, helps to get the offensive rebound, and the Clippers are going to reset the offense and try to get another quality shot off as the first quarter is winding to a close. And we're going to see that as Rondo turns down and comes back from the screen, he's going to occupy the big defender behind the back to Patterson, and Patterson passes up this three to kick it back to Rondo. And Rondo's going to generate space here by doing something smart. Jab steps a first time to get Sarge to pull the left foot back, which he does. Jab steps a second time to see Sarge's reaction, and then he's going to go up with the shot. This isn't poorly defended by Sarge, but Rondo's been a better three-point shooter over the last couple years, and he makes this. This is big-time screen the screener and Spain pick-and-roll action by the Clippers, which is interesting. Back screen being set by Patterson against George's man. Then Patterson runs up to set a screen against Javon Carter, which is forcing the switch to get Rondo into Sarge. George then pops back up, and here's the start of the Spain pick-and-roll. Back screen Sarge, which George then pops off of. Rondo goes downhill, initiates a spin move against Sarge, and comes out the other side for a nice layup attempt that he makes. This is tremendous stuff by the Clippers and Rondo. This is an incredible play uh, by both Rondo and the Clippers here. Rondo comes up to set a screen, but the Clippers guards don't like to set screens. They want to slip it. There's the slip. Kawhi gets the ball to Rondo. Now he's the short roll decision maker. Sarge is the low man in the corner, so he has to stay with the, uh, the corner shooter. Rondo's little spin here occupies two defenders, freeing him up for the lane. Booker comes over, fouls Rondo. Rondo goes to the line. He makes both free throws. This is tremendous. This is really nifty baseline out of bounds play design. Patterson's going to set the screen against George. And then Rondo back screens Aiton, which is Patterson's man. And Rondo's going to pop. This is a little mini screen to screener action. As Rondo gets the ball up top, Patterson and Kawhi come into a horn set. And Patterson sets the screen, which Paul goes under. Rondo reads this. He has a wide open three point attempt. And Rondo, ever improving as a shooter, makes this. This play showcases how you fully take advantage of what the defense gives you. George is going to wrap around, set a screen against Paul. This forces Phoenix to, to switch the action here. Mikhail Bridges is now the main point of attack defender against Rajon Rondo, and Rondo goes with a hesitation and an out dribble to see what Bridges' reaction is. When Bridges gets his feet parallel to each other, this allows Rondo to drive past him. The low man is DeAndre Ayton. He's way too late to help and rotate, which allows Rondo to get this layup off unimpeded that he makes to extend the Clippers' lead. This is just intelligence by Rondo and the Clippers. 
You know, they're trying to bleed the clock a little bit here, nursing an 11 point lead. You don't want to give Phoenix more opportunities than they actually deserve. As Kawhi goes to drive, we see Chris Paul put into a two, two on one situation on the weak side here. Kawhi reads this, kicks it to the corner, and the ball gets swung to Rondo with under five on the shot clock. Rondo has a nice little jab step here to see what Chris Paul's reaction is. And then he forward pivots. This forward pivot creates the space that Rondo needs to get off an unimpeded three point attempt. Chris Paul gives him the space and Rondo cashes home yet another three. This is just high, high, high level basketball. I want you to look at the lineups on the floor. This is two small lineups. There is no traditional big man here. And we're gonna look at Rondo as he's being ball pressured here. He's gonna look over his shoulder to see where the screen from Leonard's coming from. Here comes the screen by Kawhi Leonard, who is going to dart and slip this screen. Rondo fires an inch perfect pass. Chris Paul is the low man. He's gotta come over to rotate. He's late, fouls Kawhi Leonard, emphatic dunk seals the game. Rajon Rondo was absolutely flawless in this entire performance.